I'm glad I have these. <laughs> good. You guys good? Ready to go? All right. First off, uh, Coach Ralph, opening statement after the LSU game this evening. Okay. I thought our, um, our performance, obviously, uh, we had a slow start. And our performance in the second half was much more indicative um, of who I want us to be. Again, I mean, it was a six-point game in the third quarter, and it just took a couple of minutes for it to kind of get away from us. We fatigued um, quickly, uh, and we gave up some easy buckets. I still feel like when we stick to our defensive principles, and I know when I go back and watch the film, because I know what I just watched, that you know we gave up too many easy buckets on defense that, um, that dug ourselves a little bit too deep of a hole at that point in the game. So... Um, while I, I did love flashes of what I saw, I think um, including, and I got to say this, the way that my team competed, the way that they competed in that second half, um, all the way to the end, I still think there are things that we can clean up um, to make a, a really special run here down the stretch of the season. Questions? Uh, Kim is on the other line. This is her first time in this gym. She, she said that she is ringing wet right now. Uh, Thinks maybe fatigue kind of hit her team a little bit there in the second half. <laughs> was that a bit of an advantage? I mean, it was 85 in Nashville today, and that you all, this is where you guys uh, spend so much time. Did that maybe help give a little bit of an edge there in the second half of you guys? I don't know if, if because honestly, it was hot for us too. You know, 85 at this point in the year is 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 pretty warm in Nashville, so I don't know that that was an advantage. It is it is where we live. It is our home court, so I always feel like we have a home court advantage, but I'm not sure the weather had anything to do with it today. Um, you know, what, what was it, did it mean to you guys to see, you know, Kaija have that kind of performance in her final home game? Yeah. Kaija's a pro. I think you can see um, the way that she competes, the way that she never backs down. Um, and the, the, her plate has been very full this year. And she um, signed on to come play for us, and our team looked a lot different before our injuries. Um, but she has never blinked. She's taken it on um, with bravery, resilience, um, and a swagger that I love. And most of all, humility. You know, she's, a, she's the sweetest kid, but she'll go out there and rip your heart out of your chest, right, on the court as a competitor. I want her to have a really special end of this season. She deserves it. Um, and so that's why, you know, we'll take what we can from today that's positive, including her performance, and we'll continue to build on it like we have the whole year to make sure that these, you know, whatever we have left to play, um, that we, we put her in a, a bright light to shine, and also for her future. I mean, if anyone's watching today in that second half, Kaija was one of the best players, if not for a long stretch of time, the best player on the floor. She'll be a great pro, and she put herself on display today. I was happy for what was the challenge for Sasha in defending LSU's bigs? Uh, <clears throat> I, think, I think the challenge for her always is learning how to defend well without fouling. So a lot of her fouls are unnecessary, <laughs> you know, like the, especially the last one. She didn't need to whack the kid on the hand um, to try to steal the ball. If you can steal it, great. If you can't, just, just bottle the, the – the kid up in the trap, the player up in the trap, and then one of your other teammates will seal it. A lot of what Sasha is continuing to learn is doing her work on the front end, right? So making sure with a player like that, because she is a little bigger, a little bit longer, um, getting her out of the lane so that we're not buried in the lane, having to play defense and then uh, having to rebound against a kid underneath the basket. The only rebounding you're getting then is the one that goes in, right? It's almost impossible to rebound that. And it's hard for us to help. So Sasha's continuing to learn how to do her, her work on the front end defensively. And if she can stay out of foul trouble and stay on the court, then I think she can get into a, more of an offensive rhythm. How much of the team's struggles on the glass today would you contribute to? Obviously, Angel Reese is like one of the premier players in the SEC. Yeah. Versus how much of it can be improved for next game against Auburn? It's a good question. I want to make sure that I, I give credit where credit's due, right? They're a good team. Um, she's a great player. That's clear. But I still think that we shoot ourselves in the foot in rebounding. Rebounding is, it, it, you know, it is, you can attribute it to size if you want, but, um, but I know plenty of undersized, unathletic kids that will, will get plenty of rebounds because they just want to. They want to. They effort. Um, 
and they put their, themselves in the right positions. They're intelligent on how they move, on when they move, on how they box out, on staying out of foul trouble. I think we can do that. I think we can do a better job of that than we've done consistently throughout the year. So I, I will give them credit, but I do think that most of, of our rebounding woes are our fault. Anything else for Coach? Uh, you know, what kind of uh, improvement have you seen out of Ryan Allen as the season has progressed? I think that she's been able to play for longer stretches more effectively. Um, early on in the season, you know, two minutes in, I've got to get her out. And, and she's not making shots if she's tired. Now she can play for longer stretches and make shots. We just have to get her a little bit stronger and to stop fouling unnecessarily, whether it's intentional or not. Um, there's things as a freshman you have to learn. That might have worked in high school. And that's not just Ryan. That's all freshmen. But it doesn't work on this stage. Um, and so the great thing for her is that she's getting that experience on the court. And then the, the flip side of that is everyone gets to see it, <laughs> right? Everyone gets to see that growth in real time. But from start to finish this year, I mean, she's been playing for much longer stretches, and she's made a bunch of shots that we've needed her to make in big moments. Um, and that can do nothing but help her um, as she continues on her journey here at Vanderbilt. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you.